and it's really this deep freeze made it the hardest ticket to get, talking about an airline ticket out of Texas. And even if you have that, you have to hope your flight isn't canceled. Hundreds of flights not even pulling away from the gate, but American Airlines Flight 2437, one of the few that did leave Dallas, landing here a little while ago. And I'll tell you, the passengers on board still shivering. Look here. We don't really like cold. That's why we're in California. Susan's hoodie says it all as these passengers are just in from Dallas, most still bundled up in their winter clothes. Lucky their flight isn't one of the hundreds canceled due to the deep freeze that's blasting Texas. It's very snowy, um, all the snow on the ground. Uh, we could barely drive. Like, we could barely drive out there. Um, we were stuck in the house for like three days. Yeah, it's bad out there. But, um, you know, I'm happy that they let us on the plane so we could leave. I can't even get gas in if I want to eat. I can't even eat. And then every time I would go to Walmart, everything is off the shelf. Literally, everything is off the shelf. It sounds like a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, it is. It was a nightmare. A frozen nightmare that at one point left three million without electricity, hundreds of thousands now still without any power or heat, and nearly half of Texas is under a boil water order before drinking. All as a deadly Arctic blast has left much of the state's power grid encased in ice, freezing cold that's bursting water pipes by the thousands. It's my uncle's friend. His plumbing in the top of the ceiling broke. He had icicles inside of his house coming from the ceiling fan. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yet another winter storm has dumped even more snow. In Dallas, it hasn't climbed above the freezing mark there in five straight days. I mean, it's a pretty big disaster out there. Becky and her husband, like so many others, left the pandemic and the lockdown here in Southern California for a less restrictive life in Texas, never expecting anything like this. The house out there. Yes. So he went out there to do the last finishing touches and he's stuck out there. He can't get, can't get out. No, and he's driving, so it's totally different. And now, Lyle, that's a good point, because if you can't fly out of Texas, you would think at least you could drive out of Texas. But Becky pointing out the gas stations all closed there, major roadways, snow-covered, icy. Add to all of that a growing food shortage, as even the supply chain is frozen going in and out of Texas. So no wonder a lot of the folks lucky enough to make it here to SoCal saying it's, it's really a nightmare back there. For now, we're live here at Los Angeles International. Back to both of you.